Hello again. I have remarked before that while many awful groups flourish in this country, advocating various strange and unacceptable practices and activities, it is only the ones run supposedly by right-wing extremists which attract the most attention and harshest penalties. A 27-year-old man has today been sent to prison at the Old Bailey for eight and a half years for nothing other than belonging to an organisation of which the government disapproves. I give a link to the news item about this in the description to this video. Never mind the shadowy groups which arrange for crowds of Muslims to gather outside cinemas in the north of England chanting Allahu Akbar leading to the Cineworld chain agreeing not to show the film Lady of Heaven anymore lest certain Sunni Muslims be upset or offended. I give a link to a news item about that as well in the description to this video. The police did not even bother to turn up to those menacing crowds or to reassure the workers at the cinemas in places like Bradford, but they have been astonishingly keen to nail white activists who have been guilty only of printed words. Why should it be that white, so-called right-wingers like this are more likely to be jailed than those who organise mobs to intimidate customers and staff at cinemas? Cineworld say that they have decided to stop showing the film because of fears for the safety of their customers. That suggests a certain level of threat, no? Are the organisers of those pickets going to be sent to prison for eight and a half years? One suspects not.